Hey everyone, welcome to today's session on managing your library. My name is Drew and I'm an Associate Education Strategist here at Huddle. Here's our agenda for today. First, we'll start with an overview of your library so you have a better understanding of how to manage your video. Once we've learned how to manage our video, we'll take a look at best practices for reviewing your film. And last but not least, we'll wrap up today's session going over some online resources that are available to you at any time. Knowing how to manage all of your video is important to keep your video organized and easy to find when you're ready to watch it. To get started, select the Video tab. Here in our library, you'll see we have filters on the left-hand side that we can utilize to help us quickly navigate between video types and scheduled events. We can also use the search bar at the top to find a specific game. To open the video details, select the three dots on the thumbnail, then select Open Details. Here we can change the title of the video, change the video type, and add it to a schedule entry. We can also add our own custom labels here. Once you're done editing the video details, select the X to return to the full library. To download a video, Select one or multiple thumbnails with the blue check in the top left corner. You can also use shift and click to highlight a range of videos. Then select download. Here it will ask us to confirm that we'd like to download this video. Once we've selected download, you'll see the confirmation that shows you which email this download link was sent to. Once you receive that link, click on it to download the video to your desktop. To delete a video, we can highlight them the same way as before, and then select the delete button. You'll see here that we're asked to confirm that we'd like to delete this video, as it will remove any reporting data that comes along with it. Once we've selected delete, you'll see that you can only restore these videos for the next 14 days. After 14 days, these videos are no longer available and will be permanently deleted. To restore these videos, go to Recently Deleted on the left-hand side of the screen. Again, you can highlight multiple videos or use the single restore button. Once they've been restored, we can clear our filters and return to the library. To share an item with members on our team, select the three dots icon and select Share. From here, you can share this item with a group or individual members of your team. Connecting with your athletes off the court and outside of practice is crucial. Let's look into the different ways you can review film on Huddle. Next, let's dive into our film review. Here we'll see our tags along the bottom of the video. This will help us analyze specific moments. By using the filters, we can quickly find a specific area of improvement. For this example, we can select set pieces and free kicks and then filter by the free kicks that our team had. You'll see here that we can use the left and right arrow keys to quickly navigate between each of these moments from within the game. Next, we'll select Add to your clips in the upper right hand corner. Then select your clips. You'll see here that we have the option to select each clip and add a comment. Then, be sure to save the clip. Next, we'll want to share this in a playlist so that other members on our team can access this new playlist that we've just created. Then, select Athletes and give them access so that they can contribute to the playlist. This will allow them to comment back to your questions and allow them to draw if they find anything that they would like to share with you. Once you've saved this playlist, they'll be able to contribute. You'll see that we can also use the annotation tools on this video to highlight specific areas of the field. Depending on your sport, you may have the ability to play video in our new experience. Toggle this on from your library, and then open up another game. Here we'll see the new video experience that pairs our video with the data on the right hand side. This will be similar to the filters that we just noticed, but you'll also see interactive and dynamic filters. To view our reports, 
open up the full screen window on the inside spanner. Here we can see all of our tenancy cards to see what sticks out to us. From this game, we can create a playlist that starts with attacks from the attacking third. We can also see which players were more involved in these sequences. Once we've applied this filter, we can return to the video by selecting the Minimize button. Here we'll be able to select the Share button to share this into a new playlist with our athletes. Use the grid below the video to move between each of these moments in the game. Don't forget to use the annotations on the left hand side of the screen to make these better coaching playlists and to point out different areas of the field to your athletes. To return to your library, select the back arrow and you'll see the new playlist that we've created. Next, we'll check out our resources and support. To get help directly from your Huddle account, click the box in the bottom right corner. You can chat with Winnie, who will help you find an answer to any question you may have. Type your question into the text box to search for your answer. Here you'll find the tutorial that will help answer your question. I also want to make sure you know about our Training with Huddle YouTube channel. To find our channel, go to YouTube and search Training with Huddle. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to get access to our how-to videos and video walkthroughs. By subscribing to this channel, you'll be notified any time we release a new video. You can also find our videos organized by playlists to continue learning new workflows. To learn anything about Huddle or if you need a reminder on how to do something, you can go to huddle.com support to find our tutorials, how-to videos, and quick start guides. For support, complete this form which can be found at huddle.com help. Once you've provided us with this information, our team will be in contact.